is our friend. Let us love one another. Let us love one another. Jesus is our friend. So today, there is a certain program we have to follow up. Today is Independence Day. It's like a birthday for Uganda. You have to follow the activities which I have to tell you. Follow them up strict, strictly as we continue. So we are going to start with the entrance song. Enter, rejoice, and come in. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, friends of Jesus, you're welcome to this program, our program. On Uganda Catholic Television, Good News for All, I'm Dorothy Atire Songo. It is a joy that we come together to pray together, to learn from each other, and importantly, to grow together. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. My Bible tells me so. In the name of the Father, O oh Lord, our loving Father, we thank you for the gift of life and this wonderful independence day you have enabled us with successfully. We pray for our readers in the whole world, especially our religious leaders. Francis our Pope, Paris our Bishop, and all the clergy. We also continue to pray for our political leaders, our President, His Excellency Kabuta Mtebe. May you grant him long life so that he may continue to lead us, so that we may stay in peace. We pray that you may guide us through this day, so that we may continue to glorify your name. We have made this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today is a very special Sunday when Uganda is celebrating her independence. So happy Independence Day to you, dear children, and everyone watching in. And congratulations to us. And... It is the 28th Sunday of ordinary time in year C. Jesus has a very special message for us, a message of gratitude. Do you know what it means to be grateful? What words do we 
use to express that we are grateful. The word is thank you. So in this month, the mission month, where we are called to be witnesses of Jesus Christ, we are also called to say thank you, to learn how to say thank you, to be grateful for all that God is doing in our lives and for all that God is yet to do in our lives. Children, let's humble ourselves and we listen carefully to today's gospel according to St. Luke chapter 17 from verse 11 to 19. And today the children from Kabbalah Diocese are the ones who are animating. Let's listen carefully to what they have to share with us. And then after the gospel, we shall also hear the lessons that they are going to share with us. Please listen to the gospel well. From the Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. As Jesus made his way to Jerusalem, he went along the border between Samaria and Galilee. He was going into a village when he was met by ten men suffering from a dreaded skin disease. distance and shouted, Jesus Master, have mercy on us. Jesus Master, have mercy on us. Jesus Master, have mercy on us. Jesus saw them and said to them, Go and let the priests examine you. On the way, they were made clean.
When one of them saw that he was healed, he came back, in praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. And Jesus said to him, Get up and go. Your faith has made you well. What shall I lend to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is our friend. Let us love one another. Let us love one another. Jesus is our friend. Thank you very much, those who have acted. I'm like, I'm, I'm speechless. It was nice. It was fabulous. Wow. Thank you very much. Let's have somebody to come and preach the word of God to us. Please step forward. Jesus is our friend. Let us love one another. Let us love one another. Jesus is our friend. Dear brothers and sisters, friends and family, today Jesus, Jesus is trying to talk to us in a special way. And his, message, his messages are going to be sent to you by me. So, sometimes, our teachers help us in schoolwork and we don't thank them. Don't you think they are feeling hurt? Yes. Our parents are out there working hard to pay for us food fees and still we don't, we don't say, say thanks. Don't you think we are hurting them? Yes. And not only our parents. We can also count ourselves into this. So you don't have a pain and you want one of your friends. And then you say, please lend me a pain. Then your friend gives it to you in good faith. And then for you just go without, without even saying thanks. Don't you think your friend has felt hurt? Has yes. So at least let us learn to be appreciative. Because this is what Jesus is encouraging us to do. And then we have seen that the ten lepers. But it's not only one kind of not only one kind of lepros. There are many kinds of lepros. It's not only a skin disease. Some of us think it's only a skin disease, but we, we ourselves have that leprosy. And that, that leprosy is of hatred, not forgiving, not sharing, not appreciating. That's the kind of reproach we have. At least we ask Jesus to heal us from that leprosy. Not only those kinds of leprosy. There are also many kinds of leprosy. Like some of us get healed. Jesus heals us from the diseases that we think can never be healed, like cancer. A miracle can happen and you get cured of cancer. HIV. A miracle can happen and you're cured. Corona. That is very, you, you're sure that you will get healed from it as long as you remember to pray. Morning to evening, pray to God. Glorify God. Thank you. Because that is what He likes. 
parents, our parents. Let us at least thank our mothers every day because they are the ones who carried us for nine months. They are the ones who carried us in their wombs. They suffered during those days. During labor, they cried out just for you. And Susan will bring them today and at least say thanks when she buys for your dress. And you know, some of us are of modern types. So there are these new brands. There are, there's Dio, there's Adidas. So you want a dress. And your mother buys for you the kind of brand you don't like. Like you wanted Dio. And then your mother brings for you Adidas. At least say thanks. Don't go saying, my never wanted this, I wanted Dio. But still, it's a cross. You can put it on. Not only Dio can cover your body, but also Adidas can cover your body. Don't follow these new brands. But at least follow what, what you really want. You want to cover your body, so at least cover your body. Then looking for the brand. Some of these brands are even not, are not good. Some of these brands are bad. Some of them just want to destroy us. And if you want a brand, but that brand is of bad type, bad quality. So don't for a brand. For a what you really want. If you want to cover your body, then just cover your body. Also, dear friends, Jesus is trying to tell us to, to be strong in faith. Like you are in school and children over, uh, over talk about you that you are bad in one of the subjects. Just cross your eyes and pray every day. God will surely make a miracle and you will become the first in class. You will really show them that with God everything is possible. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. As long as you fear the Lord, pray to Him, glorify Him, you will sure be an important person in the future. The Lord be with you and with your spirits. We have enjoyed the beautiful lessons from our friends. Now, they also wish to, to share the memory verse. So, let's also be very attentive because remember this memory verse is what helps us to live during the week. It is that verse that we all try to live by during the whole week. So, let's listen in carefully. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is our friend. My fellow children, I have come here to remind you about the memory verse. It is from the book of St. Luke, chapter 17, verse 19. It says, And Jesus says, And Jesus said, Get up and go. Your faith has made you well. My fellow children, can you repeat that memory verse? Let us pray, dear children, together we present our prayer intentions to God, together we ask God to help us to grow into the people he really wants us to be. And importantly, he gives us the heart of mission, the heart of gratitude, and the heart of caring for one another. We pray. 
is our independence day dear children let us all stand up and we sing our national anthem by the way remember our motto it is for god and my country so uganda is a country dedicated to god and we are god's people our anthem is to reawaken our godliness and also to remember that we are brothers and sisters please Let's sing our national anthem. Oh, you Thank you, dear children, for praying. Thank you for the beautiful lessons that you have shared with all of us. Our dear friends from Kavale Diocese, we really appreciate. Children, just a reminder of what this month is for us. The month of October is known as the Mission Month, where all of us baptized Catholics, wherever we are, we are called for mission. We are called to share the good news of Jesus. We are called to pray the rosary. And also, we are called to make a financial contribution towards missions. This we do in our different parishes, in our different dioceses, with the aim of 
evangelizing with the aim of making sure that the good news of Jesus reaches each and every person. We are lucky, dear children, that for us, we can pray. We have Uganda Catholic Television with this beautiful program, which is very nice that you are able to animate, to pray and to evangelize to fellow children. But then there are those other children who do not have an opportunity to pray and they wish for it. They too wish to be part of what we are having. They also wish to share their prayer, but maybe they don't have the resources. They don't have the opportunity. So through our prayers during this mission month, praying the rosary and through our financial contributions, then they will be able at least to have an opportunity to pray. And what does this mean for us, dear children? It means that when all of us are able to pray, then all of us are able to grow together. What a beautiful family that we can make together, a family of God's children who love and care for each other, a family of prayer, a family of hope, a family of charity. And children, also the month of October is the month where all of us are invited to pray the rosary, to consecrate ourselves to Mother Mary. Imagine what a joy, what a love that Mother Mary has for us. Remember also to pray our rosary with our families in our schools and also in the communities. Remember, Jesus tells us that when we gather to pray, then he is in our midst. So during this time, let's gather. Let's be together to pray the rosary. Thank you, dear children, for being part of the program. Thank you for the beautiful sharing. And thank you for getting ready to celebrate Mission Sunday on 23rd of October. Thank you for the beautiful activities that you're doing in your parishes, in your schools, to reach out to each other, to be that missionary that you're called to be. And to our dear animators, the fellow liturgy teachers out there, thank you for the cooperation, thank you for the creativity, thank you for making this program very beautiful. And our dear priests, thank you for all the guidance and counsel that you give us to make this program better and better. Thank you production team and our dear parents. Thank you for bringing the children together in our homes. I know some of us will bring children in the neighborhood and then they are able to pray with us. And please share your videos of whatever you're doing for this mission month. Share your photos so that together we live as witnesses of Jesus. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye, dear children. Keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all.